Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today we have the new set of Force of Will that just came out, the Magic Stone War Zero, the next in the Saga clusters. Let's check this out already. This just looks awesome. Some of this artwork looks absolutely phenomenal. I am super excited for this set, so much so that I've got two more over here on either side of me, and I've got a pre-release kit coming in, so I'll be swapping out playmats for a nice Magic Stone War playmat and get all the Cthulhu promos. It's going to be super fun, and I'm going to be opening a lot of these. So I hope you guys are ready. Make sure to leave a like on the video, and let's jump in and see what we can find in this set. All right, I did bring my knife this time, so let's carefully get into this thing and not worry about me tearing and biting into it like I was doing last week. There we go. Nice and easy. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I forget, what's our buy a box promo in this thing? Let's find out. Ah, yes. Narlethotep is our promo. Okay, beautiful. So here he is. Here is our promo card. I'm just going to open him up because I want to see this thing. I'm keeping him. I mean, just look at this sucker. He looks so cool. Bringer of War, Narlethotep. Absolutely dope. That looks ridiculously cool. All the promos of the Cthulhu guys in this set look super awesome. Super, super awesome. And without further ado, let's jump into our first pack and see what we can get. All right. We've got Illusionary, a student, Moonbreeze Memoria, Awakening, Spirit of Knowledge, King of the Salamander. Okay, interesting. And our first super rare is Awakening, Awakening of Melest, uh, which he's looking to be a pretty cool character. Behind that, we've just got a normal looking foil, Desperate Air. Desperate Aid, and I just grabbed the card and then bent it. Oops. All right, into the next one. Let's go. Go! Oh, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. What will be our first split card that we find, I wonder? Duet of Light is a pretty sweet card I want to get in a full art. That is cool. Hidden History, the Magic Stone War. All right. Win Magic Stone, a will coin. And then we got Magic Stone Research Institute as our rare. And a Spirit Village rare full art. Look at that. Colors. Ooh, the pretty colors. Oh yeah, let's keep going into the sets. All right, some rings. Uh, never ends, another duet of light, rush of spirits, fire magic stone. Need to, oh, ooh, that's the normal version of Nara left the top. I'm just bumping my camera though. There's our first rare, Abdul Azarard, the, what is it? Poet of Madness, along with Dark Pulse, which is like a reprint of an older card. Behind that though, a beautiful, Beautiful looking magic stone of the demonic world. A special magic stone, rare full art. Oh, that's gotta be some value right there. Come on, that is awesome looking. We'll see if TCG player updates their prices on this. It's still pretty early, so I know sometimes it takes a little bit for prices to get going, but I'm hoping it does soon. Glinda the fairy, get her in a full art would be nice. Rush, messenger, a Life points and magic stone bird as our rare. Behind it though, oh, look at that. Nice rare full art of the deep ones, the deeper ones, deeper ones. Wow, that's sick looking. I feel like that text is gonna be a little hard to read, but man, that's a cool foil, the deeper ones, awesome. All right, into the next one, here we go. Whoop, there we go, come on. Let's get back in to the good stuff here. All the way, just skipping past. Oh, there we go. As a thought, manifestation of manifestation of death as our super rare, a big bulbous eye socket, creeping little slime thing. Pretty sweet looking actually, and a blank page normal. Some beautiful artwork on that. All right. What will our big pull be? I just pulled from the lucky left side here, so you never know. Duet of Water, will we get zero in this pack or this box? We will get her eventually, that's for sure. Definitely want him. He looks sick. He's uh, he's on the play mat too. Uh, what are you? Trish, Spirit of Autumn Wind. And then behind it, ooh, Magic of Trust and Love. Wow, I haven't seen that artwork. That is pretty neat. That is pretty cool looking. 
Let's keep it going. All right, out with the dog. And we've got our aid again, or our heir, as I mispronounce. Guardian Wizard, he's pretty sweet looking. Fire Magic Stone, Life Points, and then, oh, what is your name? Chiffon, Spirit of Guidance? Spirit of Guidance, pretty cool looking, super rare. Oh, look at that, Guardian Wizard as our full art normal. All right, cool. All right. It's time for something really good. I'm feeling it. Let's go. I'm sure some of these cards that I've already pulled are worth some value, but something a collector would want. Let's do this. Come on. There we go. Yogg-Soth, the True Hunger. Very cool. That's not bad. I will take him. I'll take all the Cthulhus. Whoa, the Transformed. I have not seen this card. That is very Cthulhu-esque. Holy crap. That's pretty neat. Just a normal, but still really dope. All right, so let's keep going. Glinda the Fairy on top, not bad. There we go. Blank, and then we got Ancestor's Portraits, the little researcher from one of the last sets. There's a nice foil, not foil, <laughs> dual card. Tinkerbell the Spirit and Rain of Light, some cool cards from classic sets. Behind it, a super rare. We've got Dark Sphere, Spirit of Dark Night. Wow, I haven't seen this one either. Wow, I just haven't seen a lot of these, I guess. I kept myself unspoiled from all the new cards. Ooh, we got a lot of packs to go through. Come on. We're going to start going faster on these normals, that's for sure. All right, we're starting to see a lot of the same. Let's get into a sacrifice of words and memories. And behind it, all right, the foil version of the dual card that we got, the Dark Pulse and the... Abdul or Habhu or Harul Abduli, however you want to say it. Nice. Oh, hopefully I had enough charge in my other camera, this one right here, for doing this video because I opened it up to film and I had like 35%. And filming in 4K sucks these batteries dry. There's Cinderella as our double with the pumpkin carriage and a wind stone shot as a normal, but a beautiful looking card. Bunny. A bunny for good luck. There's our transformed guy. The true shot, whatever that one was called, I don't even know. A will coin, and ah, just the regular version of the magic stone of the demonic world. Very nice, but I think we got the best version, but there's someone pretty nice. Grubastella? Gru how do you say his name? Grubastula? <laughs> Grubastula, I guess, as the full art. He looks really cool. Uh, J Ruler, let's flip him over here. I forgot he was the J Ruler. How do you say yours? Groob Celestia. Oh, is it the same? Okay, it's just the same. I thought they had different names for a second, but some of these white on black on white texts are hard to read sometimes, but he is nonetheless a really cool card and uh, definitely should be worth some value, I think. All right, we've got zero. Let's find the zero. We gotta find zero. Although the zero in this set is not my favorite artwork of zeros from past sets, but still cool nonetheless. I still want to get her. Satan's phantasmal body, and then we've got the classic flame of the outer world from some of the OG sets as a dual card in here. And oh, wow. Frola, Spirit of Oblivion, is that her name? Uh, Viola, Viola, Spirit of Oblivion. Wow, that is really sick looking. Look at the artwork on that one. That is dope. Boom, all right. Tuck away some of these normals here. Do out of light. And then we've got, ooh, very cool extraction wizard. I haven't seen you either. That is just a rare, but behind it, we got the nice foil version of the dual card. All right, I'll take that. That's not bad. Ooh. Ah. All right. Going through these non-essential hit pieces here. Some of them, I'm sure, are essential for decks. Salamander and Ghost Plane dual card as a rare. And, ooh, little explosive match girl. That is awesome. I didn't know they brought back match girl. That is really cool. She's a super rare. But now she's the little explosive match girl. That is sick. Okay. Boom. We got a creepy looking dude here. And a world uh, invaded. Ooh, what's invading? Probably Cthulhu. We got our portraits, our will coin. And then we got the three-eyed fortune teller as our rare. Very cool. 
Oh, it's a little match girl again. Infinite matchsticks. That's pretty sick. Just a normal, but look at that foil. That is a nice one. Awesome. I'm saying awesome a lot already in this episode. I can tell. Oh boy. I can't help but just say awesome on sets I'm excited about. All right. First one, Fountain of Trials as our rare. And then we've got, oh my, who are you? I haven't seen you. Umar, Keymaster of the Outer World. Keymaster of the Outer World, wow. That is really cool. Got some tricolors going on in the castable cost too. That's interesting. Lucky left side, let's see what we can find. Come on, lucky left side, we're pulling from you now. Let's keep getting some good hits. Boom, we've got Minfia Storytelling Girl as our rare, and then Fairy Tale Moon. It is a rare. It's just a fairy tale moon with some faces in the moon. Classic. Can't have a moon without a face in it, I guess. All right, let's keep going. Boom, cruising through these life points into Princess Cayuga and Flying Bamboo as our double rare. And ooh, there we go, Glinda the Fairy as a full art. She is cool looking, man. That is some awesome, awesome full art foiling on that one. Really nice. I'm sticking with the lucky left side. We're going, we're going deep on the lucky left side till we hit something really nice. I'm skipping a little bit of cards, but that's okay. We're trying to save a little bit of time. All right, we've got the regular version of Spirit of Oblivion and Illusionary Snow as our normal foil. Come on now, lucky left. Come on, we're still going in. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I was tempted to just go straight to the rares on this pack, but we're gonna go through. We're gonna give credence to all the normals out there in the world because they are still cool and need our attention too. Our attention and love. All right, a little explosive match girl, just the normal, and then a normal little one-tailed fox. Lame. A moment of silence, maybe, for this next pack. Okay, Little Red, the Fairy Tale of Air and Wind of Gods as a duel. And then we've got Symphony of the Two Great Dragons. I feel like this should have been in the last set, maybe, right? The dragons, but I guess they're just further foretelling the story of the sets. Cruising on, cruising on. We've got Glinda, we've gotten a lot of her. All right. Some illusionary snow and will coin with the zero art on it spirit village is our rare and behind it we've got the duel of snow white of the red apple and apple avenger very cool this is classic from the first set i believe she's in the first set right i can't remember let's keep it going i think i took from the middle this time i stopped going on the left side i just grabbed that time oh well what are you gonna do all right will coin and then we got the deep ones normal version as our rare Hey, there we go. We've got, what is her name? Moondart? Is it just Moondart? Moosdart? A very, very cool J ruler to get in a full art. Oh, we're dropping it. Let's check out the other side. See, now, this is what I've talked about in the past. This is what I've talked about, all right? Paying attention, check this out. Not cool. It's the same artwork. They just changed a couple things. They're getting lazy. That's my only critique on this set, besides like all the cool Cthulhu stuff, is all the J-Rulers, all of them are just this. They're this, and it's the same with the same dang artwork. Just two things changed, or their eyes are closed and their eyes are open, their eyes are closed and their eyes are open, or their fist is closed and then their fist is open. Eh, I don't like the laziness, but I do appreciate the beautiful artwork that this has. I just uh, wish they would really make the flip different. It, that was the best part about the J-Rulers was like, you don't, you're, you're expecting that big flip and the power upgrade, you know? Now it just looks like it's the same character. It's just the same character. That's it. You want to be like, she looks like this and then bam, she looks like some crazy powerful thing because you just flipped your J-Ruler. Just my opinion. I don't know. I think it's a fair assessment. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has that complaint too, that they're getting a little lazy with those. But nonetheless, a good card to get. I do believe she has some value. There she is again on the will coin. And then Awakening of Grusselberry, or whatever his name is. And then the Hidden History of the Magic Stone War. A very beautiful card to get in a foil. All right, coming down to the bottom a little bit here. That's good, that's good, we're getting there. These packs are deceiving, they're fitting, they fit in there like so nicely. There's Awakening of Zero, 
Very nice as our rare. Will this be a sign that we're getting zero? Let's find out. Nah, it's just a dual card, but it's probably a decent dual card because they all usually are decent dual cards in these last few sets. The Fantasy Dragon and the Moon Incarnation. Now I'm kind of saving the lucky left side, you know? All right, Glinda, I've seen enough of you. We got your full art, I'm a happy camper, you know? All right, Will, and then we've got, oh, Shub Shub's in here, the Gatekeeper of the Outer World. Awesome, that's a nice one, cool, rare. And, oh, the Awakening of Alamaris. Almaris, Almaris, ooh, that is beautiful, though. She is really, really cool. She's got the little spirit dude right here, too. I didn't notice that before. Awesome, that is really sick. All right, a good pull there, I'm pretty sure. Let's keep moving and up in the ante with, ooh, the Necronomicon, the Book of the Outer World. I didn't know they had the Necronomicon. I can't, I can't speak tonight, it's late. It's late, the Necronomicon, the Necronomicon, the Necronomicon. That is cool. I didn't know they had this in here. That is a really, <laughs> And we get the full art. Oh my gosh, I love packs like that. That is awesome. It's like normal version. You want the full art? Here you go. There's a full art. You want it? There you go. All right. I pulled from the middle pack. I'm just skipping all of them. Let's go. Rares right here. We've got Ultra Magic Stone Golem and Gathering of the Six Sages Normal. This is the last one from the middle section, and we're just gonna skip kind of to the end again, I think. There we go, Water Magic Stone, and the Magic Stone of the Six Sages as our rare. Very nice, that's probably got some value. Awakening of Zero, rare full art foil. Beautiful, very, see now this, I like this artwork of Zero better than the other J Ruler artwork of Zero. Just. Just what I think. I like this artwork, this artist, a little bit better than the other one. Two packs from the right, and then we will move on to the lucky left side. All right, and we're going to skip straight there. There we go. Water Magic Stone, a Will Coin, and the double card that we already got put in a foil. So there we go. The Awakening of Grubleberry, which is just going to be his nickname from now on. That's just how it's going to go. I'm sorry, and I don't care. <laughs> Last one from the right side. Do we skip again? I think we do. Ooh, I'm doing good with these skips. Just going straight to the stones. All right, the Awakening of Mojart. Mojart, I really want to know how to say her correctly, but that is some cool artwork. See now, this. This should have been her normal ruler side, and then she should have jumped into the side that we saw for her J-Ruler. That's switching up the artwork. That's what I'm talking about. This should have been her other side, for sure. Behind it, just a normal dwarf army, dudes. Snow White's Fire Dwarves. On to the lucky left side. We've got just three packs left, I believe. Yes, and straight to the rare. In we go. Hey, we got the Awakening of Fithsing. I believe that's how you say her name. Fithsing? Fithsing? Which, she's a sweet card. I do like her. So let's see what's behind her here. Ooh, just a normal, just a normal Rapunzel, the long-haired princess. All right, into the next. Let's go. Should we go straight? to the normal and normal and water magic stone will points and then we've got the what are you little littler pillar an awakening of the nine-tailed fox i got the nine-tailed fox in here all right and a spirit ring oh that's pretty cool i'm sure we've seen this that's just straight up elvish that's just straight up <laughs> the ring from lord of the rings that's exactly what that is no creativity there whatsoever Oof! there we go all right Come on, lucky left side. Can you do us like you did us with Echoes of the New World? Last pack, huge pull. That's what we want. Hey, the normal version of the Keymaster. That's fine. And then we got a nice looking dragon full art as our super rare. Gullwing, dragon spirits. Very cool looking, that's for sure. Awesome artwork on that one too. Awesome this, awesome that. This pack is awesome, and this box is awesome. And what I'm about to open is awesome. Look at this, look at this awesome card. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm sorry. I'm overdoing it. I'm getting very aware of my words tonight. <laughs> Hey, it's Haster, Messenger of Madness. I want to get him in a full art. Look at that guy. He looks freaking dope. That is awesome. And then behind it, we got Tinkerbell, the Spirit, and Reign of Light. Awesome. 
I mean, take your pick. We've got a lot for the pulls of the day, I'm sure. All of the double Marvel rares and stuff are going to go for some value. A lot of new people going to be playing with some new cards in their decks and everything. So here's just a few that I think will be highlights. Obviously, some of our J-Rulers, but definitely this Magic Stone of the Demonic World. Full art. Uh, we've got Grubal Blastia, Blastal Boy, the Oblivion Boy, Spirit of Oblivion, Little Match Girl, which I'm super happy she made a return. That is awesome. And then we got Mojart. Mojart. Hey, if the prices aren't up on screen or haven't been this entire episode, it's because no one's buying the cards yet. The set just came out and the market hasn't been flooded yet to establish prices. So that might be why. Just a heads up. In any case, if they're up on screen, here's what we did with the box today. I think we did pretty well. We got some really cool cards. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's episode of unboxing the new Force of Will set, the Magic Stone Wars Zero. And if you do enjoy and you want to see me open more of these boxes or some of these cool sets behind me over here, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe. Make sure to leave a like. Share. Please share with everybody if you can. I want to get the videos out there a little bit more, so I do appreciate it if you help me out that way. And we will see you guys in the next video. I can't, I can't even reach all the way to that camera, so I guess I'm going to go to this one now.